Hello everyone, welcome back to Eat Sleep Brief. So today I'm going to be covering a topic that's been asked quite a bit. A lot of people I always find are asking me whether on YouTube or Instagram, Antonio, what do you use to maintain great coloration in your tank? Um, great growth, um, and just all in all happy corals, more importantly, thriving reef tanks. So today we're going to be covering exactly what I do to maintain great coloration, great growth, and just overall the happy reef tank. So one of the first things I want to cover that's by far the most important before you do anything is going to be your pretty much your water parameters. You know, I notice a lot of people are always chasing a number, but I think I've proved it already with, I don't know if you guys saw my uh, nano reef tank where I was running 5 DKH and it was just all in all beyond happy. So that just really proved that these corals can really adapt, but more importantly, instead of a number, they care more about stability. So the first thing you want to be aware of is that you are maintaining um, steady parameters, whether you're manual dosing, dosing with a doser like I do, just make sure, you know, it always stays in check. The second thing you want to be very, very aware of is going to be your lights. It really doesn't matter what lights you have. Obviously, with the better lights, you may get better coloration. But guys, I'm here to tell you, you don't need to go and spend you know as much money as i have on my lights i run the xr15 uh, radions running two of them um, i feel i can get better spread than running run xr30 which is why i do it but you don't know how many people i always talk to that are messing with their light schedules every single week to every other week that's by far the number one way to get your corals and happy to stun them to have them lose coloration and pretty much to not have a thriving reef tank so if you are going to use lights that are programmable stick to one setting and leave it leave it leave it leave it don't be messing with it just because your buddy said he has success because success of a reef tank has a lot more to do than just lights uh, parameters it can be temperature i mean there's just so many things so many variables so last thing you want to do is changing them all the time so again just to cover the first thing you want to be sure you have is a st uh, steady parameters number two great lighting and once you have those two supplementing food is going to be your last thing so we're going to be covering exactly what i supplement amino acids food uh, frozen food kind of everything i do to maintain colors uh, here in my reef tank so uh, follow along and let me show you guys what i use all right so two of my main 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 um, tools i use or supplements i use to maintain great coloration um, great growth on the coral is by far these two. If there's anything out there that I can probably recommend to tell you guys to go purchase and that's pretty much all you're going to need to have wonderful growth, great coloration is going to be these two products. So the first product is here at Polyp Lab, uh, Polyp Lab Polyp Booster. What this is, it really gets the corals into feeding mode, really has the feeding tentacles come out, just really gets them excited, um, ready to accept food. Um, so this I always put about 10 to 15 minutes beforehand. Um, it does have what you should be dosing um, right here. You can see the direction. So every tank is different. But this by far, guys, this product here is amazing. You put it in your tank and I kid you not, within five minutes, the extension you see on like Acans, um, Duncan's is just unreal. So it 100% does work. And the way I know that is because I could see it with my own eyes. Uh, so Polyp Lab Booster is my first arm of defense. Number two is gonna be Refroids. Um, I'm sure this is not the first time you guys hear about this product. It's a product that is out. Um, a lot of people talk about it. And honestly, guys, this stuff here is amazing. Now, this is offered in three different sizes. So you have the biggest one right here. You got the medium, and then you got what they call the, uh, the Nano. So obviously, whichever one you want, the smaller one, you know, is probably good for 30 gallons and below. 60 and below and anything you know 100 and below i mean obviously if you got a 200 as well but 100 150 um, this will cover and last you quite a while so this is what i use typically the way i will do it i have let me show you guys here so i got my mixing cup here as per the directions i do two scoops of this so what i would do put two scoops in here and now you guys may notice you can either fill it halfway of water, but what I do, I only put enough water in there for it to be kind of pasty. 
Um, I, I've noticed a lot more coral growth. I've noticed a lot, they feed a lot better like that versus feeding it very watered down. Um, so typically for every two scoops I do of this quarter inch uh, teaspoon, I fill up about six, six to seven milliliter, which is right about there. Um, and this here I get on Amazon. You can see it has an extension here that uh, really helps to target them a lot better um, and just you know really gets the corals happy. Uh, so this here is what, this is kind of, like I said, my go-to line of defense. Um, if you guys, if there's anything out in the market you're gonna purchase, I'd highly recommend Refroids, followed by the Polyp Booster to really get them into feeding mode. So up here next, what we're gonna have is a few of the other supplements that I do use, and uh, yeah, let's check those out. So one of the other products I do use, and I've been using for a while, is Vinfuel. Um, the main reason I started using this, I'll be totally honest with you guys, it's because um, Rico, Rico's uh, Reef Tank, or Rico's channel, um, you guys can see him here on YouTube. If you guys saw his tank before he broke it down, the Acros, he by far, hands down, had what I would call the nicest SPS display tank, I think, out in the world, at least that I had seen. Um, so one day we were talking and told him, dude, what, what would you recommend me dosing? Um, he just said, dude, aqua, aqua vitro, the amino acids that are in this thing is unreal. I mean, just look at this. Look, I mean, this thing just has everything in here. And trust me, within two weeks, your euphelia garden will certainly puff up with this stuff. Um, it's very potent, very well product, haven't had any problems with it. Um, so this is another supplement I do use. And one of the last supplements uh, I use, I'm gonna take you guys downstairs, take you to the fridge, because um, it's some frozen food that I also use. So my last line of defense, guys, and what I use to really get great coloration is gonna be rock food. Mainly this is used for fish. It's used to feed my fish. But the good thing is it, it's, it breaks down. Uh, there's different chunks of, of food in here. Um, it breaks down you know, to really, really small pieces where your corals can get it. Um, so anytime I feed the fish, I'll tend to overfeed. So anything else left in the water column um, can be grabbed by the corals. Uh, and sometimes, once in a while, I will target feed like hammers, torches, um, acans, duncans, you know, so, some of those corals that do like the more meaty stuff. Um, but yeah, this Rob's Food, guys, for you guys that haven't tried it, this stuff is amazing. I mean, just look at these ingredients. I've known uh, Rob for a while already. Um, ever since I saw his product, I would used other frozen foods on the market this by far um, was the best in my opinion. Now, you may hear some people complain, oh no, Rob's food is super dirty, it, it clouds up the water, but really think about that. If it's clouding up the water, that probably tells you because there's a few more nutrients in it. So wouldn't you think, if it clouds up the water a little bit more, don't you think there's gonna be nutrients for your coral to grab? Again, that's just my way of thinking. I'm, just, I'm not saying I'm right, I'm not saying I'm wrong, it's just my way of thinking. Um, and that's why I really like Rod's food. And honestly, it doesn't cloud it up even that much. I believe whatever the fish don't eat, the corals will grab. And my tank, as you guys can see, has been very happy and very successful. So if you guys aren't, haven't checked this out or haven't uh, got Rod's food, I highly, highly recommend it. Not to mention your fish are gonna be colorful, fat, and happy as well. So that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Really hope you guys enjoyed. More importantly, hopefully you learned something um, how to properly maintain great coloration, just all in all happy corals. So once again, to recap, remember parameters are 100% key to lighting, and then we can really focus on giving them the nutrients they need to give them great growth, great coloration, and all in all, happy coral. So we're going to wrap that up for today, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I think more than any other time right now is a very important time for you to do so. One, I just hit 10,000 subscribers, guys. I'm doing a great giveaway. Polyp Lab, Worldwide Corals, and XP um, Aqua are all giving away, or giving me products to give away to you guys, so you do not want to miss that. Worldwide Corals is giving um, quite a bit of corals away, so you know I highly recommend you guys go over there, check me out. Everything's going to be in the description. The link is going to be in the description of my Instagram. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down in the comment box below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Happy reefing.